Hey there, ladies and gentlemen! Today I'm talking about something that in my 40 to 50 hours of Elden Ring where I'm at right now between two characters, I wish I had known a lot lot sooner. First of all, the tutorial does tell you about this, but me being my big brain boy who's played through lots of other Souls games from Bloodborne to Sekiro to, you know, the titular Dark Souls itself, I really didn't pay attention to it. I knew that there was some poise system uh, slash super armor system in the game. Specifically in this one, it's called stances. Um, so stances are really something that's just poise. It's just poise. It just allows you to break through it, end up doing a critical attack uh, through the front to the back, getting some extra damage in through that. Um, and really there's two main ways to get through the stance almost immediately, and that's by using charge attacks with the right trigger or using a jump attack using the right trigger, which do the most damage to essentially their invisible stance bar. But most importantly, there's an ability called a guard counter in this that I wish I would have known so much earlier. So any weapon that you could defend with by holding down your L1 or your bumper or whatever you want to call it on the left side, um, you're able to block. And when you do this block, once they make a connection, you're able to do right trigger immediately after using that heavy attack, doing something called a guard counter. This almost with all like minor enemies uh, breaks through their stance immediately, allowing you to get to that critical point. And Oh my god, is it a game changer. So, the guard counters is game changing. It works on bosses, it works on the mini guys, it works on pretty much anything. You always want to do it with lighter attacks against you, but it is so, so strong, and I wish I would have known about it so much earlier. While we're talking about things I would wish I would have known earlier, let's talk about a few other just random tips while we're already here. Uh, one, you can jump off a torrent by pressing down on your, life, your left stick. Man, that would have been a lot easier than always going to the binding and then jumping. Speaking of the bindings, I ended up finding about 20-ish hours in about the pouch system and then how easy it is to just assign torrent to that. So you can switch in and out when you're in the open world bosses where you're riding your horse and switching to your normal thing to try and do stance breaks and just, huh, it would have been so much easier and I just known it, but I didn't. So... Those are really, really, really helpful things to know, especially early game, and I wish you would have known so much earlier. Anyway, if you have any other suggestions that you think that we should talk about in the next one, be sure to put it down. Otherwise, Review for Elden Ring is eventually coming. I'm only 40-ish hours in, and there's still a lot more. I am not rushing this game. I am enjoying it. Anyway, friends, thanks for hanging out, spending some time here, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!